Hey guys, it's Eva and welcome to A Story Time. I received quite a lot of questions about my life in general and sports career, so I decided to combine them in one video telling a hopefully interesting story. So let's get started. First questions, how old are you and where are you from? How did you get into sports and acrobatics? I was born on 28th of September in Moscow, Russia, so if you're watching this video in 2020, I am soon to be 16. I grew up in Moscow where I started at first artistic gymnastics by an Olympian coach Yulia Maslenikova. However, when I was 3 years old, I got kicked out because I got into a fight with a boy who was older than me. At 4, I tried rhythmic gymnastics again in a club of a coach who trains Olympians like Yana Kudryavtseva and Margarita Mamun. However, when I needed to compete, I just sat on the stage with a sad face and wasn't behaving myself really good. Also, when I was in Moscow, I got kicked out of two schools, but this is a long story. Anyway, when I was five, when my mother got pregnant for the second time with my little brother Luca, we decided to move to a less polluted and less crowded place, like a small town under Moscow, Karolev. We lived almost near a wood. Here I went to first grade and also got into circus acrobatics. So in circus acrobatics, you've got two types of acrobats, tumblers who do jumping and tricks and contortionists who do flexibility. At first I was about to become a tumbler, but then I broke three bones and cut my back with an equilibristic rope, that's why I got into contortion. Next question is why did you move to Bulgaria and how did you start competing? When I was 8 years old my family and I got itchy feet so we decided to move to a warmer country and we chose Varna, Bulgaria. There I was homeschooled for two years when I was learning the Bulgarian language and other subjects. Also, I got into acrobatic gymnastics with the best coaches in the world, Pavlinka Stankova and Jordan Mihailov. So if you're watching this video, thank you for making my childhood so bright and I really, really love you. At the age of 12, I already started competing and got involved into a trio as a lower base. Everything was superb and we were competing and getting medals, growing as gymnasts. However, unfortunately, in 2019, my best friend and partner got a back injury and needed to leave the sport. So we needed to switch partners just before the championship and we simply didn't have time to prepare as well as possible. So in June 2019, I took part in my last competition in acrobatic gymnastics. Next questions, where and what do you study? By 9th grade, I was already able to speak fluently Russian, Bulgarian and English. And I was also getting quite well in German. In 2019, I also moved to a new high school where we're focusing on IT and German. In 2020, I will be hopefully finishing 10th grade as a grade A student. Next question, how did you get into ballet? In 2018, I felt really, really passionate about dance and ballet, so we found one of the best clubs of ballet in Bulgaria and I spent two happy years in ballet element, competing in groups, in categories open and modern ballet. Next we have, why did you quit acrobatics and ballet? I quit acro in 2019 for two reasons. First of all, my coach got retired and there were no alternatives in Varna at the time. Secondly, for health reasons because I was no more able to lift heavy weights. In 2020, I also left ballet because I felt I needed to concentrate more on studying and sports. Of course, I still love ballet. And the final two questions. What do you do now? Why do you call yourself a self-taught contortionist? In 2019, as I left Acro, I started working on my personal skills and started improving my flexibility. I call myself a self-taught contortionist because in fact when I was a base I wasn't really taught to do neither hand balancing nor contortion. That's why everything I've learned about these two, I learned it myself. Also in 2020, I got into fitness and started trying to pursue a career as a model. So I study a lot, I work and I try to be always in shape. So this was it for this talking video. I really hope that you like that kind of 
format and if you did give it some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell button to get notified every time I upload a new video. See you soon! I was... However, to a less polluted and crowded place.